Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have written a method in controller and we tested our application. So in this video, we'll write a few more methods in employee DO implementation. So I'm going to the employee DO implementation. Let's concentrate on the save method. So I'm going to remove these comments. I'll make use of this entity manager and I'll call the unwrap method to get the current session and I'll pass the session.class this will give us the current session I'm gonna call this current session now using this current session I'll call the save method to the save method we will pass the employee object save this and go to the service implementation and I'm going to stop this server because um, whenever I make a uh, changes and when I click the save button it will going to reload because we have uh, added the dependency dev tools so I'm going to stop the server and inside the service implementation I'm going to call the DAO implementation method which is save method employee DAO dot save to the same method we will pass the employee object save this and go to the controller and I'm going to create a method I'm going to call this public and this will return an employee object and I'm going to call this save and I'm going to annotate this with a post mapping because uh, we are making a post request to this method post mapping and the URL would be slash employee uh, but we're passing uh, employee object so I'm going to use at request body employee I'm gonna call this employee object inside this I'll make use of this employee service dot I'm gonna call the save method to the save method I will pass the employee object and I'm going to return the employee object we're getting some exception cannot return void all right so and I'm going to return the employee object save this and now go to the main class right click and choose run as Java application and in the console you can see that the application is running the application is started I'll open the postman and I'll change this to post and I'll go to the body and uh, and I'll change this to raw and I'll change this to JSON so here I'll create an employee object name which is some ABC gender Let's make it Bharat and department testing date of birth nineteen eighty eight zero four 12. we are not going to insert an id because the id is a primary key it will be uh, incremented in the database and okay, now when i click the sign button you can see that the object has been uh, created in the database and uh, we are the object has been the employee object has been returned with the id of 2 let's verify in a database and i'm going to rerun this query 
can see that the uh, birth record has been inserted to the database so this is all about the creating a record which is a post mapping so in the next video we are going to uh, see how we can get a single record or a single employee object using a get mapping so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video